Hey Aquarius, welcome, welcome, welcome to Love and Romance for February 2022. Happiest of birthdays to our darling Aquarius friends. We're going to kick in, uh, check in here, or kick in, I don't know, we're going to kick in to the reading. And we're going to see what is coming up for Love and Romance for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm setting the intention for... Aquarius Venus as well so we're gonna check in and see what messages are coming up for love and romance for 2022 February now you might stumble upon this video at some other time sometimes that happens too you're gonna find it whenever you're meant to find it take what resonates and leave what doesn't these are general readings you might need a private reading um I wanted to say as I was coming in to do your reading, I, w I did a pre-shuffle on the cards. And while I was shuffling, I felt like I was playing piano. And there was like this beautiful music, like just flowing. And I feel that there's some inspired or really excited energy around the Aquarius collective because that I just felt this really beautiful maybe some of you are like in your creative flow maybe some of you like as your heart chakra is opening up you might be kind of moving towards creative endeavors or feeling very inspired but I thought that was a very interesting and positive energy so I just wanted to share that with you guys now the first card coming up here is the king of swords and this could very well be your energy as an air sign right regardless of gender um you may be uh in this king of swords kind of energy as it comes into your love and romance and it comes into your love life some of you could be dealing with or calling in a fellow air sign okay as we were talking about or as i was telling you guys in the beginning i felt this very inspired energy right? I just felt very inspired. And inspiration can also be in the form of ideas and the realm of thought. So maybe some of you are manifesting an intellectual connection uh, or, or uh, somebody who is compatible with you intellectually, right? So like maybe some of you Aquarius, you've been like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like what's missing in my love life or, you know, like these people seem really great, but just something is missing and I can't figure out what. And some of you might be realizing that you've really just been starving for somebody that gets you mentally, like good conversation, right? Um, some of you are figuring out that uh, you need someone who can get into your head, <laughs> before they can get into your pants. Um, and so some of you may be manifesting this kind of connection with a person, or it could be a fellow air sign, as I said. So obviously air signs are going to be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So there could be a fellow air sign that you are calling in or dealing with. Some of you are dealing with another Aquarius. But I do feel there's a sense here of a mental connection. A mental connection. Aquarius, I feel some of you may have had a falling out with someone that you were getting to know um, maybe like two or three weeks ago, or at least from the time that I did this reading, two or three weeks ago. And um, it feels to me like this person is coming back around and just basically saying like, you didn't understand me. And maybe you're like, no, I understood you just fine. I understood you perfectly well, right? And they're like, no, you listen to me. You didn't understand me. Let me finish. So I feel like for some of you that, and it feels to me like a newer relationship. It doesn't feel to me like somebody you've known for years and years and years, although it could be if you're married or something. Maybe there was a misunderstanding a few weeks ago. But for some reason, it feels to me like a newer relationship. And this person's like, you're not giving me a chance. You're not giving me a chance. And I feel for some of you, don't get mad at me. This is just the message that I'm getting from spirit. Don't go getting all upset with me and coming at me for the comments. I don't choose the messages that come in. But I do feel for some of you Aquarius, maybe you waited a really long time before you started getting to know this person. And you went into it with the mentality of, you know what, I waited a really long time, I was single for a really long time, you know, getting my life together, getting myself together, and if I see anything I don't like, I'm going to nip it in the bud right away, 
right? Like I'm going to nip it in the bud right away and I'm not going to go, you know, uh, for a long time wasting my time with this person. And for a lot of you, you cut this person off. They, they said something, they did something you didn't like. I feel it was more they said something. They said something you didn't like. And uh, I feel like this person might be calling you out. Like, well, because you've had bad experiences and you're really guarded and, you know, I'm not like the people from before and you have to let me finish. You have to give me a chance to explain. And it feels to me like a misunderstanding. But as I said, it feels like something newer. And maybe this person is really wanting to spend Valentine's Day with you. And so they're really kind of trying to, uh, to, to work things out. And think about it, guys. Think about it. Valentine's Day is a time for easy pickings. It, I, I'm sorry to say, but it is. A lot of people get really lonely. And Valentine's Day, holidays, birthdays, this is around the time that karmic exes and things like like kind of swoop in because they figure, okay, you're going to be lonely and your guard's going to be down and you're going to let me in. So this person, for those of you that this is a newer relationship, you know, they haven't known you that long. They don't have that much invested in you. It's Valentine's Day. They can very, or coming up, they can very easily like go off and find somebody if they don't want to be alone on Valentine's Day. But I feel that for, for some of you that this is like a newer person, like they really have their heart set on you. Like they really like you. And I do feel for some of you, this was a genuine misunderstanding. And they're like, they're kind of fighting to, to break through that wall. Um, you guys know if you're dealing with a karmic person, I'm not encouraging you to go back to karmic situations. And that's why I'm, I'm emphasizing this feels like a newer situation to me. For some of you, this is a general reading. The next card that's coming up here is the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups could very well be um, a water sign energy. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Water signs are going to be Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Uh, the Queen of Cups also in love readings, a lot of the times is seen as uh, like wifey, like wifey card. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a confirmation that you're manifesting marriage or that this is a relationship coming in in terms of long-term commitment, stability, emotional connection emotional intimacy right so for a lot of you you're coming into this mental connection and the mental connection is opening up everything else and opening up the heart and uh the, and feelings are beginning to grow for some of you i feel that you're in this relationship now or if you're single you're manifesting this relationship um where i feel there's a lot of talking Talking, 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 talking. Uh, and it's just a lot of talking, a lot of conversation. You're like, wow, like how do we manage to speak so much? How do we manage to cover so many different things? And it just flows. You're not like, you know, racking your brain trying to figure out what to ask the person. You guys just have this effortless flowing conversation. And feelings are beginning to develop. For some of you, I feel that this is kind of like a, this is not going to be for every single one of you, but I just got chills because it felt, it, it felt like really mysterious and exciting to me. I feel like some of you may be in a job situation where you have to do uh, like, you know, uh, talking on the phone. Maybe you're talking to uh, uh, people who work for the same company as you, but they're in a different office or they're in a different location and you have to coordinate with them or you have to follow up with people who are not close to you geographically, or maybe you're talking to clients. And I feel like for a lot of you that are in this situation, like you're talking to this person a lot. So there could be like a big case or something going on or, or just something where you guys are required to talk a lot, but it keeps crossing over into personal conversation right? Like you talk about the work stuff and then it crosses over into personal conversation. Like, wow, like, like this person's so interesting and, and they're feeling that you're so interesting and you have so much in common. And I feel like you guys have no idea 
what the other person looks like, but you can feel there's chemistry here. Like you can feel there's chemistry and attraction and it's just building. It just feels very exciting to me. So those of you who do have something like that coming up, I would really love to hear the story. But I really feel that some of you are in a situation where you're just talking to this person and forming uh, attraction, mutual attraction. And you guys don't even know what, what the other person looks like. So I don't know. That just feels exciting to me. So I would like to know those of you who end up having that situation. Um, One more thing I'm going to say and then move on to the next card. Those of you who are like really wanting uh, this relationship to work out or really wanting to manifest somebody right now if, if you're single, uh, the Queen of Cups also comes up for me to tell me that emotional self-care is going to be really crucial in you manifesting this. Really, really crucial in you manifesting this. So this means that you have to pay attention to your emotions and to your feelings and let yourself feel. A lot of the times feelings come up and we're like, oh, I don't want to think about that because that's negative. Emotions aren't negative. Emotions are emotions. We're meant to experience them. They bring us messages. They, they help to guide us. They help us to grow. So you don't want to push down your feelings. If you do that, you close up your heart. And if you close up your heart, you close the door to love. It's, it's counterproductive. So make sure that you're honoring your emotions and your feelings. If you feel sad, let yourself have some time to be sad. If you need to cry, cry. You need to scream into your pillow, scream into your pillow. If you need to let out some anger, let out some anger. And then go ahead and soothe yourself. You know, comfort yourself. Uh, but allow yourself to make your emotions and feelings a priority in your life. Because that's how you're going to manifest a relationship with somebody who cares about your feelings, who make your feelings a priority in their life. It has to be a priority in your life first. The next card that's coming up here, Aquarius, is the Seven of Cups. Now, I know the Seven of Cups is a card a lot of people don't like, especially in love and romance readings, because Seven of Cups gets like this bad rap of having a lot of options like oh this person has a lot of people to choose from or oh uh, you're gonna have a lot of people to choose from well Aquarius I feel like a lot of you have had a lot of people to choose from for a long time now and nothing has excited you right like you a lot of you have just been okay uh, like doing your thing or, you know, just, just n nothing has stood out to you. But as I said, you're manifesting this relationship uh, with someone that, that you have a mental connection with. Or if you're married, you're beginning to establish communication and con connecting mentally. That's opening up or reigniting the emotions and the feelings. So Seven of Cups to me is like there's other options and there's other choices, but it's very clear to you that no, this is the person that I want. Also, Seven of Cups can come up when we're in a situation where we feel very wowed. We feel very odd. We feel like we're dreaming. Like you want to like rub your eyes and be like, am I really seeing this? Is this really happening right now? So I feel for a lot of you, this relationship that's coming in or this progress that the relationship is making, a lot of you are like, is this really happening? Like, am I imagining this or is this really happening? And I feel like spirit wants you to know it's really happening. It's really happening. Um, now I'm going to say something here um, and I don't mean it in like an egotistical, narcissistic kind of way, but I feel like some of you very specifically, you've been like, why can't I find another me? Like if I could just find another me, I would be so happy. I, I, I need another me. And not that you're like obsessed with yourself, right? It's not like in a narcissistic way, but that comes down to the mental connection. Like you just want someone who, who thinks how you think and sees things how, how, you, how you see things and, and knows, you know, how you need to connect. And so I feel like a lot of you are feeling as though it's actually happened. Like here is another me. Here is another me. And again, as I said, it's not like a conceited kind of way. I do feel like some of you are having a lot of dreams um, about this person. 
uh, and you you know or you sense you feel that they're coming in, and so when they actually come in, you're like holy holy cannoli! Like is is, is this really happening? Uh, but I feel like for a lot of you, there's a very strong connection here. And I feel like you guys are very connected in thought. So it would even be the kind of connection where like you're thinking about them and then they text you, right? Or you're thinking about them and you run into each other at the grocery store. Uh, I just feel you guys are very in tune. The next card that's coming up here for Aquarius is the moon. So we've got plenty of water sign energy here. This could be a Pisces. It could be a Cancer. We've got the Queen of Cups. If you have a water sign placement, I feel the cards want you to know there's going to be a lot of really big changes and shifts in that area of your life or in that house uh, that is affecting your love life very positively. Very, very positively, right? Or you may be meeting a really significant soulmate through that portion of your life or that area of your life now the moon card is a major arcana card so the major arcana cards come up anytime that we're coming into a significant new chapter anytime that we're coming into uh an experience we agreed to have we came here to have this experience and so um, for me, in a love reading, the moon card, not, well, not just the moon card, but the major arcana cards coming up, major arcana cards coming up tell me that you all have a contract. You all were meant to meet. You guys had an agreement that you were going to meet for a specific reason. When I look at that major arcana card, it tells me what the reason is. And so for me, the moon card is going to say that you guys are here to help one another get over your fears, to step out of fear and to move through intuition, to move through what your gut and your intuition is telling you. Okay. I do feel for some of you, it's kind of an awkward situation. Again, those of you that this is like a newer relationship, because something may be coming on very early on where there's a discussion or a conversation like, well, my job is going to make me move. In, in a couple of months, or uh, you met them and they're in the process of moving, or, or you're in the process of moving or relocating. And so it's like very early on, you're having to make a decision. Am I going to invest in this person? Right? Or, or, or would I be willing to, uh, you know, up and relocate, you know, and, and go where they're going, um, if, if things work out. So there might be certain things that are happening, that are kind of triggering that fear. Uh, that's like a scary situation. Some of you can't believe this person's actually here and you're very scared to let this person in. You're very scared to let this person in because it's like you, you, you can't believe it's actually finally happened. And for some of you, you've waited a long time. You've waited a long time. And, and, and now this person is here and you're like, but I didn't think they were going to be here now. I thought it was still going to be a long time. But they're here now. It's, it's like the door popped open and you're scared to walk through the door. But you've been trying to get the door open forever. Now that it's open, you're like, but do I really want to go? Do I really want to go down that path? And so you're going to have to get over your fear here. You're going to have to get over your fear. A lot of you just are, are in, in disbelief that it's actually happening. This is real. Don't fear it. Your outcome card is a very interesting one to me. A very interesting one. Again, don't get mad at me. I'm just the messenger. We have the five of swords. The five of swords can come up when there's a situation having to do with power struggles or burning bridges. Um, it can definitely be a card that comes up for me in my readings when we're being triggered by a situation. Sometimes it could be a deliberate triggering. But in this instance, with the cards that are coming up before these cards, I don't feel it's a deliberate triggering. I really don't. I feel it is um, just kind of as your heart chakra is opening up and you have the fears coming to the surface of being vulnerable and letting somebody in. You're going to be triggered. 
Okay, your heart chakra is opening up for this relationship. You're going to be triggered by certain things. And I feel you're going to be tempted to be the five of swords. You're going to be very tempted to just cut this person out. Right? I said in the beginning, for a lot of you, I feel there was some kind of a misunderstanding. And you're like, nope, 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 nope. Next, next, next. I'm not going to waste my time with this. Nope, nope, not going to do this. And spirit is saying, you know, this is a misunderstanding. And I feel like this person is is really, really, really just trying to get through to you. Like this was a misunderstanding, you know, because they feel the connection with you. They're like, Aquarius is my soulmate. And we maybe got off on the wrong foot. I got my foot in my mouth. I said the wrong thing. And I really want to make this right. And you're going to be really tempted to just burn that bridge and cut that person out. And I feel like spirit is asking you to reconsider doing that. Reconsider doing that. And now that this relationship is coming in and you all are emotionally connected and it's beginning to move into something serious and the fears are coming to the surface, there may be power struggles with some of you because some of you are finding there's a fear coming up where you're like, well, you know, how do I know this person's not going to be controlling later? Or how do I know that this person has my best interest in heart. All those little fears and insecurities are coming up. So Aquarius, I'm saying this with love and I want to give you a word of caution. I do feel that this is the potential for a very beautiful, very happy relationship with a very significant soulmate. But if you're not careful, if you're not cautious, those fears and insecurities are going to cause you to cut that person out and like sabotage yourself. So if you find yourself getting triggered and getting tempted to cut this person out and, you know, even full on ghost them, you know, when you might not be the kind of person who ghosts, but that's how hard you're getting triggered where you just, you kind of want to just do that. Some of you, I really encourage you to try to journal through the situation. What happened? What did they say? Like, how did it make me feel? What thoughts came up in my head? You know, who's made me feel this way before? Uh, why do I think it happened? You know, how am I choosing to feel about myself and about the situation from now on moving forward? Um, the fears that I have around the situation, for example, I'm scared this person's going to be controlling. Okay, so ask yourself, what are some ways that you could protect yourself if that does happen? What is a good backup plan in case that does happen? If you can do that, you're going to feel really secure. And you're going to know really what the fear is and overcome the fear and be able to move forward in the relationship in faith instead of fear, right? Faith over fear. This is big, Aquarius. You know, I would encourage you to, to think about it, to pray about it, to meditate about it. But I feel like a lot of you are in disbelief and spirit is saying, trust it, trust it, trust it, trust it. If this is not your Venus sign, you may want to check out your Venus sign. I know a lot of people really feel their Venus sign resonates for them when it comes to love and romance. And some people say, nope, my moon sign resonates more or my rising sign resonates more. And different months, it might be different. But, you know, you might want to check out at least your Venus sign, if not your your, your moon sign as well. Uh, don't forget weekly forecasts where I talk about everything other than love. So be sure to check those out as well. Um, I know I did not post the previous week. I was not feeling well. Um, I am working on getting a diagnosis. And if that does happen, I, I, I will share that um, with you guys. And if that does happen, it'll be a good thing because then um, uh, I will have a better way of, uh, you know, caring for myself and being able to be more consistent with the posting. But I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I thank you all for watching, my dears. Take care and be well.